All right, here's a story that is positively Jack's dozens of families transitioning from homelessness will be able to prepare their own Thanksgiving meals thanks to a pretty generous donation. As News for Jack's reporter Crystal Moyer shows us, the people who decided to help aren't so different from those on the receiving end. It was an applaud of gratitude. Nearly 50 families living at Sulzbacher Village are getting the Thanksgiving many take for granted. It's a blessing for me and my girls. It's a um, fresh start. Before moving into this affordable housing unit, Tyshandra Bell and her three teens were homeless. I lost my place. Um, I was a, you know, I struggled. But as long as me and my girls were together, that's what mattered. Bell is just one of dozens of families still transitioning from homelessness here, not able to afford a Thanksgiving meal. Most use the bus every day to get to work. That's why JTA Cares, along with the Amalgamated Transit Union, decided to chip in. After collecting donations, they were able to fill these baskets with all the fixings, things like stuffing, gravy, even veggies. Some of the families here at Soulsbacher Village tell me this will be the first holiday where they won't be burdened with having to figure out where they're going to get their Thanksgiving meal. That's something bus operator Dwayne Russell can relate to. For me, it's, it's, it's sentimental because I know when I was younger, um, I remember my mom going out and getting baskets for us to provide for us for on Thanksgiving and Christmas. Russell and other volunteers with JTA were able to provide dozens of baskets for families in need. Russell says it's all about giving back to his community. He plans to continue organizing this event, making it bigger and better next year. Crystal Moyer, Channel 4 The Local Station.